Hello everyone, um, welcome to this short video. In this video I will try to explain how you can manage your keynotes in an Excel sheet. This workflow can be useful if you work in teamwork. Sometimes if sending and rece receiving is not done in the right order when keynotes are changed in Archicad, that can cause issues in teamwork and that issue can be solved if the keynotes are edited in an Excel sheet and link back to the project that way. Also, if you're working for a big company and you want to develop a central keynotes database or more than one, or if you want to sort out your residential keynotes database or something similar, I think this can be a good workflow. If you like to manage your keynotes in the keynotes manager, that's a perfectly valid way. You can transfer keynotes between projects if you open the keynotes manager and export it from here and import it to another project. So, of course, this works fine without Excel, but if you want to work in Excel, uh, that's a way to do it. And uh, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to assume that somewhere uh, we have a Keynote uh, database. And to start uh, this project in your template file or in your Archicad project file, first what you need to do is link an existing database um, to the project. And to do that, I will just use the standard database that we provide with the Keynote tool, but this could be any other um, that you have. So I'm going to click on link, and this is quite important that this time I'm not importing, I'm actually linking this in. So I'm going to just look up my uh, C drive and my Archicad 25 folder, and here in the CI Tools Extras folder, I will have my CI Tools Keynotes which is the basic database, but as I said, you could use something else. If you're working on a macOS machine, uh, this would all sit in your applications folder instead of the program files. So you should find it in your Graphisoft and Archicad 25 folder, CI Tools Extra. So I will open this and uh, link the keynotes in. The next step I want to do is I want to export this out uh, in a format that we can use in Excel. So I will go export. Uh, and I'm going to do all the keynotes, click OK, and place it to my desktop. But of course, um, in real life, probably you will have a server folder or possibly your uh, uh, other server location where you're going to place this so everyone can access to it. And I'm going to change the type to be a CSV file. Uh, so we're going to say the CSV here, uh, give it a name. I will just call this test keynotes for now and save it. And I'm done in Archicad for now. The next step I'm going to do is I'm going to open my Excel worksheet. Uh, I'm pretty sure that this would work um, in similar applications as well. And I will look up this on my desktop. And here I'm going to just choose all files. And here I have test keynotes, CSV, and I will open that up. Here, when it opens, uh, I need to set up a few things properly. So um, choose the file type that best describes your data. Here, we're going to choose the delimited text. And uh, I will just leave this as it is. Uh, we also have headers for this data. So I will tick this tick box here. Data has headers. And then uh, click on Next. We need to choose uh, what separators are used in this database. And we have this little preview, and you see that between the entries, we have a comma. So instead of the tab, I'm going to choose comma here. And as I do that, you will see that the preview changes accordingly right away. So we see a more organized preview here. Then I can just click on Next and accept what's in here and click on Finish. Then this will open. Um, here in Excel. If you want to expand the different columns, you can do that. So you can just double click here and extend um, the columns so that you see the uh, content. And what you see here at the top is we have the keynote keys, keynote titles, keynote descriptions, and you can use some other bits and pieces here in the end. So you can keep track of uh, when each uh, was edited for the last time, spec references and categories are sitting here at the end. And if you want to change the keynotes, you can do that. 
um, you can start to type in different things here. You can change keys, you can change titles, descriptions, anything. Uh, the only thing that please make sure is that you don't change these unique IDs. So whatever is sitting here is very important to keep because these unique IDs, so-called GUIDs, will make sure that the keynotes uh, add-on will know which keynote is which and that's how it will keep track of the changes. So if you delete them, uh, all the keynotes are going to be picked up as new ones. So just please make sure that you leave these in place. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to scroll down here to the end and I will make a change here. So I'm going to call this uh, test change and I will call this as test change as well. I can do it. Okay. And uh, all I need to do here is go file and save my project. So I haven't changed the format. I haven't changed the name. I just literally overwritten what I've had there already. And another important thing, if you want to get the changes to Archicad, uh, never forget to close your Excel. For some reason, this is important. So you need to close this off. I close my Excel down and I'm coming back to Archicad now. To get the changes, all I need to do is go to CI Tools, Keynotes, uh, Keynotes Manager. And I'm going to just hit the Update button. And uh, in theory, I should get the updates. I'm going to just try again. So I close this off and I will click on Update again. And... Now I get this warning, but I also get my change. Uh, so I can just select this and click OK. And now if I open up my keynotes, you should see that my change came through. So I have my keynotes updated from Excel. And basically you can just repeat this workflow uh, every time that you have a change. And this way um, your change is going to come through uh, definitely and you don't uh, run into data loss or anything similar. I hope this helps. Um, Please log us a support ticket if you have any questions about this or if you have a more complicated setup. Uh, thank you so much for your attention.